Hello everyone. This is for a hitch install on a Dodge Magnum with a Kurt 13465 receiver hitch, which is not the hidden one. But as you can see in the video, first I working on the driver's side rear, I'm trying to finagle the screw and plate in place. Um, there are three holes where you actually mount your hitch to on e either side. On my right side, uh, which you see in a little bit as well, there is actually the exhaust blocking all this, so that's why I started with the left side first. And as you can see right now in the video, I'm trying to get with this um, insulation helper, which is a wire which has a spiral at the end to it. It comes with the um, package shipped to you. It allows you to pull that screw and also that, you can't really say washer, but it's some sort of a lock plate into the hole. So the big wide opening is where you can actually flat slide in your washer and also your screw. You just have to angle it in a different way. And then with the tool, the install helper tool, you can bend it at the end to the point that you just go through that big hole in and right out that hole which is not threaded. On the right side you have two um, screws which can be installed and um, the third one doesn't have a thread in so that's where you have to finagle and um, get that part installed this way. On the exhaust side for a single um, engine vehicle like an SE, on the right side in the rear which is passenger side, there you have actually two screws which you have to get in. So what you want to use um, with this kit is actually just a wrench, a ratchet wrench with a six inch extension, you need a 19 millimeter socket and you need a 30 millimeter socket. The 30 millimeter socket is only being used for um, your exhaust screws which holding your exhaust end muffler in place and the 19 is for getting all the six bolts or three bolts and three nuts actually correctly installed. All right, so now I'm back. What you guys need, hopefully you can see it, is a ratchet with an extension piece and 13 millimeter socket to loosen up those screws for the exhaust, actually taking them out. So 13 millimeter is the correct size. Are these two screws which are holding your exhaust in place. So once you have the first one out here in the back, you put that screw aside. And then you have another one here in the front or rear of the car. That's the easiest one. Once you have it loosened, you can actually use your impact or just sometimes, let's see if I can do it with my hand. Uh, doesn't work too good, so back just to the ratchet. It's 
definitely worth the effort. Once you have this one out, you can actually push your exhaust to the side. The exhaust is pretty much hanging right now freely and you have maneuverability. Okay, actually the rest installed. It's a little tight, but it should work. So now you have to do the next install with this. So going in the reverse over on the one side, on the driver's side, you saw it already being installed. This time we just have to hold it and screw it on. It will thread itself in place. Once it's in place, like so, a eh, little too far, like so, you can actually finagle it through. You have two holes here which are the holes right next to the opening. So this is going to be it now a little tricky. Let's see which one comes first. Looks like the one to the back goes first in. I can push everything here to the side. It's a little hard to see, but you saw it over at the other side. There's the same opening hole where you put your thing through and then you try to get it out the other end and the importance is to already have it pre bent for the other side correctly so this worked like a charm uh, now I have to get thing first into the hole, which is a little bit tricky since the muffler is in the way. But part one went in and so once you have the first part in the second part is just getting the screw in place. Once you have the screw in the hole, there you go. You just pull on it to get it through the hole. You just align it. And once you have it aligned, you just unwind the whole thing. Because this one is a little bit tighter, it's a little bit of a tricky situation. Try to get it off quickly. But I have to pretty much play the game, get it all twisted off. goes. Then you go to your next one. Make sure that you take the right bolt which is the bolt with a flat hat and not this one. This is the one which actually screws into your threaded parts. So make sure you have your piece. Get it through first. Get this all twisted on so it actually holds and doesn't come undone quickly and then you can do the same thing with the other hole sorry that I can't show it to you guys but got this also through already eh, where's this thing just had it through and now it went back out. There you go.
go. Nope. See the wire sticking through. It's not coming out the hole. So if it doesn't come out the hole, then you have to bend it a little bit more, just so that it will find its way right away through the big hole and out the smaller hole. Once you have it, you just pull on it and you've got your flat light part going in first. Which, once it's in, This is a little bit of a tricky side. Now the screw goes in. Make sure the other screw you popped in the rear is not coming accidentally out. So now I have the other one in place. You just fizzle that through. Goes. Now you have that in place. Now you go through your instruction sheet and you just look at it. So on the side where you have the two screws in, you have your washers. looks like there's no washer added, it's just a flat nut. So let's look through the package quickly, what we got. So where you have the screws funneled through, these lock nuts go on. And where you put your screw in, the screw that one gonna have a spring washer added to it. And all the screws, I believe, yep, are 19 millimeter. So let me put that out of the way and get actually the piece lined up. And as you can see I'm just on the ramp so I don't have much height. So important part is when you get this on that you do not push your screws with this plate back inside. So make sure that you have your two nuts ready in your hand when you actually lift this in place to get those on as quick as possible. 
now you lift this in place this might take a little bit of a finagle and persuasion but in the end it should slide just right in so that's why I said when you push that in make sure you actually fit your nuts right on otherwise you're gonna have a big problem so now it's resting on the exhaust and now I'm gonna line up first two first one here and I'm looking to get this one somehow on to the point that it just grabs the threads so it just grabs the threads I'm looking for the second one to see where that one went See, I pushed it pretty far back into the hole, so I'm gonna have to go with my hand there. And find blindly now the proper alignment hole, which is a little bit. line here completely and not so this is most likely due to oh yeah pretty much on it but because the other side hangs down it's not hundred percent lined up hmm I'm in the wrong holes, that's why. Okay. This one is too far in the front. Alright. That goes back. And now I will find the first one. On the same hole correctly. So, first one on. And now I can get the second one on too. And just hand tighten it. hand tight on this side. Now I use the remaining one on the other side. Get that one over here and that is going into the last hole. So, 
got it hand tied. So hand tidying the other two in place over here. Which you guys can't see right now. But get you guys over here quickly. So you can see it fits very snug. I'm not sure if you can as see it correctly, but I'll see it in a second. Okay, so Now you can see this is the one I just hand tighten in and I need one more. On this side to go ahead and place, which is this one, so make sure your washer is bowed upwards to actually put the pressure onto the plate otherwise you don't have that what you're actually trying to accomplish with um, find your your hole and drill it in there you go use a deep socket 90 millimeter you can tighten by hand up and once you're exceeding swap from your 13 inch for the exhaust to 90 millimeter over and just and this is the hitch system installed without the wiring so far but as you can see all the way down there, there's the receiving hitch. Nicely hidden. So, when you zoom in, you can see it. Did the cutout of the license plate. And there's the hitch. And this is now with the hitch ball pretty much installed. Barely to see. The wiring is going to be there. Still have to be installed. It's going to be a 7 pin flat. But that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching guys. Please rate and subscribe. And if you like this video, please click the thumb up. Thank you. Have a good one.